Well, the telephone rang, the old-fashioned telephone, which was alarming in itself, not the cell phone. And at the end of the line was a lady called Andrea, and she had rung up to see if I would be interested in this project, and indeed I was. <laughs> I heard passion in her voice. She sold me a philosophy that belongs to her and to Shane about making sustainable New Zealand film. And by that, they were actually not talking about, you know, all sorts of ways and means that we could do it. They actually had an idea. Then she told me a little about the story, which appealed to me. And of course, the other key thing for me creatively was that there wasn't a script as yet. And with that, there was a certain amount of intrigue because she said that both she and Shane knew the story, but the script was going to come out of a series of improvisations with the actors who wouldn't know the story. And indeed, we didn't. In fact, it was very sketchy, the clues we had in the first month when we spent time rehearsing and improvising, fleshing out, making up these people that inhabited their story. I didn't even have a first name. I had a relationship. I knew I was the sister of someone called Ronnie. And my name did come, and it was something that I brought myself. Um, I had my notebook and, you know, things that they'd given me some exercises to do and some ideas and things that I had with me. So I wasn't completely blank. Um, but yes, it was sort of like you, you sink into this pool and you put your head under the water and suddenly there's this whole world you hadn't expected to see. I think halfway along the line, Carmel and I got a mother out of one of our improvisations. And she suddenly became so important in our relationship. I don't think she was in the original story. And so I guess in a way, Shane and Andrew were forced to get somebody. They were forced to hire someone else. <laughs> we had the month with the characters together in various scenarios. Then, of course, they were gone for, I think, three months, writing the script from that. And that's what we got sent in the traditional manner, this filming script. Some of what we'd created was in there, and some of it wasn't. There were certain characters they'd gone with more, and others they'd pulled back, and that sort of thing. So yes, it was very much, it was a, you know, we were, hand, we were knitting as we went. It's a story about older people, and as you age, you find yourself in contact with more interesting people who are also aging. You've just lived longer, there's more to talk about. There's more that you've experienced. It's a more interesting time of life. There's a lot more to play around with. You tell a story where the central core is just human. It's, you know, life, humanity. It's essentially good, as is hook, line and sinker. We're not celebrating that awfully much. Always go against the tide, have a reaction, you know, rather than follow fashion. Be a creator of it. That's what Shane and Andrea are. <laughs> there was a solidity, and I think everybody felt it, about the characters and the telling of the tale. In a normal film situation, the actor has to convince that this is their place, that this is their relationship. With this process, a lot of that stuff's already been sunk into the cells. So when you come to shoot, it's just, it's easy, it's familiar. And you can go places, you can go bigger places, deeper places. She's my daughter, not yours. I know she's yeah, your daughter. Yeah, but that doesn't stop you, does it? I'm you know sorry, what that is? Well, well, it's self-preservation. No, it's called plain manipulation. Oh, come, angel band, come and around me stand. With Shane and Andrea, they were still very much hands-on. The actor feels that they can go and say, how is that working? Is it right? What do you think I should think? You know, it can be one word and it can unlock 
a problem you might be having or suddenly clarify for you what ought to be your point of focus in the scene. To me, their process in directing was heightened. It heightened direction and the, and the need for it. Andrew's very much connecting with the actor emotionally and Shane, for me, was far more technically the one talking about, you know, where you would be going, what you would be, the camera and the light and things like that. But then the two of them conferred over certain things in the script and then there would be a joint director coming back at you. I, I mean, for me, I loved both of them. To the baker, the candlestick maker, the filmmaker. There we are. We're right there in the suburb. Fabulous. They're fabulous. <laughs> Give your mama a hug and tell her you love her. <laughs> mm, that was work. Good.